Hey, how you doing again? Hey, hey, it's that time of season where I know you're going to run to, you know, Home Depot or Myers, and you're going to get your mulch. You're going to get your mulch. You got to put it around your house. Well, this video is going to teach you a little bit about some problems with mulch. First of all, let's think about mulch. Okay, um, where does it come from? Well, you know, sometimes they chop up trees. Sometimes, you know, they get it out of the forest. Sometimes they get it from the recycling plant. Sometimes they mix it up with things from other people's front yards, okay? So you could say that they kind of mix and recycle. And, you know, if you've got bad stuff in one yard or in the forest, it could end up in a whole batch, right? Well, we're going to talk about little black spots. Um, <laughs> by the way, these spots don't wash off, especially on vinyl siding and let's get right into this okay and i'll tell you what this stuff is called what it does and maybe you know give you some tips maybe we could do about it okay so let's get right into this um i of course i have a little presentation and so let's get into it so you know <clears throat> you i'm sure you've been to people's homes and uh you go around the house and you see these little black spots okay I'm going to show you lots of black spots and you know you can't wash this stuff off okay and you're trying to what is this stuff you know what is this stuff and that's about the size of it I'm magnifying it and some houses have it on a lot more this stuff will go up 10 20 feet in the air if you have a car that's like painted white or light surface it could be on your car too now look at this stuff it looks like tar and what happens is when you try to take this off it leaves a stain like a tar stain it's like a globular tar stain you know what these are these are actually mold spores that shoot up okay and from a pod and i want to show you what this stuff looks like it doesn't come off i mean it, now if it, it shoots up and you can catch it on the day it happens then you could probably wash it off. But if this stuff dries, it's hard to get off. Look at this stuff. I mean, it kind of ruins the siding. Okay, this is a little bit close up. And this is how big they are. This is EFIS. Think about this. If you have uh, synthetic stucco, how do you, you can't, you can try to scrape it off. You can paint it. All right. And yes, people do paint it. If it's wood siding, guess what? Paint over it. No one will ever know. You know, you won't feel the bumps. You know, they'll, they'll be hidden in the paint. Um, you could paint your synthetic stucco also, but that kind of changes the property. When you paint stucco, you know, you could create what's called a vapor barrier, and now that's a whole other set of problems, right? So we, we want to have our siding breathe. Well, we first of all, we don't want this stuff on our house, all right? So let's talk about how to do it. This is a sh close up of one of these pods, it's a microscopic 10 millimeter pod, and you can see how it's just about to explode. When this thing explodes, we're talking like horsepower city. Bam, 20 feet, 30 feet. It, you know, it's like pops, bam, right? It slams right against your house. And if you don't find it, clean it off. It's there for pretty much ever. And you can, this is a close up of a piece of mulch. Now, it doesn't grow generally a new mulch. When you buy mulch brand new, it, you, it may have, it may have the, the seeds for this in it. It probably does. But it's not going to grow right away because this stuff likes deteriorated mulch. Now, you see, like this mulch here, when you start to see, you know, like pus, and, and I'll just call it pus because it looks like pus, but when you start to see these uh, these mold globular masses start to grow in your mulch, then you know your mulch is deteriorating. Okay, it's rotting out. Now, it may end up being good for fertilizer or something, but what happens is when it does that, all these microbes take over, okay? That's just, you can see how that's growing. Now, look at this. Now, if you grab a handful of mulch, and this is what you grab, these are the pods. There must be hundreds of pods in here. And they, these guys already shot. They shot into the house, and the house has got little black spots, which is never going to be washed off. Now, maybe, I don't know, over time, but not in the immediate future. That's my thumb showing you how big one of these things are. So you want to be careful, okay? So let's talk about it. There's some more. These haven't gone yet, okay? These haven't gone yet. These have. Now, when you put the mulch down, okay, it's probably going to be nice and colorful. And I've got a great video. It's called Know Your Mulch or 
mulch you've been scammed or something like that, look for it. It's got a lot, 100,000 views, and it tells you about all the types of mulches. It's about a, I don't know, 15, 20 minute video. You need to watch it if you want to learn about mulch, and it'll tell you what mulches are bad and which ones are good. However, when mulch starts to deteriorate, then this is when this stuff takes over. So, you know, it may be, it's not going to happen in the first batch of mulch. I don't think so. Okay. It, it can. All right. But usually it's like the second year or third year. So now when you're going to go put the mulch down, maybe you take this mulch and you dig underneath it and flip it upside down. You're not going to get rid of this stuff. All right. But at least you can kill it and put the new mulch on top. And guess what? You're good to go. The problem with this stuff is that it can, if there's any spores, which that's what they are, they can live up to 10 years or longer. Now, if you've got a sprinkler system in your mulch bed, then this stuff is just going to accelerate, okay? There's some more close-ups. They're getting ready, they're growing. And there you go, look at this. these close-ups here. These, this is what's inside them. Um, and uh, you gotta zoom in to see this because they're 10 millimeter. So this mulch here um, had its starting. You, this is probably one year old mulch, uh, maybe two years. But you know, as you water it, you know, because you want to water these plants, you're also watering the mulch and you're accelerating the deterioration process of the mulch. Sprinkler system, I don't get it why people have sprinkler systems. I mean, I, I don't get it, okay? I mean, we should we should cherish our water and not grow our grass quicker so we can spend all Saturday on our John Deere cutting it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get that whole thing. Um, I don't get the mulch thing either, but people like mulch. I mean, ground cover might be better, you know, um, but the black spots are called Spiribola stellatus, also known as artillery fungus, also known as shotgun fungus. Some people call it pepper fungus. And uh, so the way, the way to uh, minimize damage to your house is you need to look at your mulch beds. And when they're starting to get rotted like this, um, you probably you might think about taking them to the backyard into a compost pile. Okay, that might work. Um, and then also think about you know maybe maybe think about the kind of mulch you buy. Um, there's a lot of pros and cons of different types of mulches. A lot of mulches have chemicals. You know a lot of them can hurt your pets, can kill your plants, can poison your you know kill worms. You know, so so you want to do your homework on your mulch. I'm not real big on sprinkler systems because that just accelerates the deterioration of the mulch. Okay, and then when you got your siding that looks like this, now you know, <laughs> to me that doesn't really bother me. But I know this world. Everyone thinks it's a perfect world. They want everything beautiful and perfect. Um, if you stand back about seven feet, you probably won't even see these guys. All right. Um, vertical siding vinyl siding and so I think we need to be smart about uh, our, when we purchase mulch I think we need to know about the mulch that we have down um, I think you need to inspect your mulch especially if you are going to not remulch again and skip a year or two go look at the mulch maybe you want to flip it you know, um, and then go out and look at it because if there's a rainy season, man, you all we need is like one or two weeks of rain, and this stuff just takes off and it just starts shooting all over our siding. Um, you could try to clean it if you do it, you got to clean it right away. Sometimes it comes off. Um, I'm quite sure there's internet data that tells you, you know, concoctions how to wash this stuff off. You know, I'm sure if you use, I don't know, like petroleum based solvents but now you know what you're gonna put the stuff in your soil and you know kill the bugs kill the worms pollute the soil i'm not sure that's such a good idea either so hey anyways uh we also have a service it's uh for people out of state um it's uh call marco with a question if you have problems with your home a lot of times we could solve your house problem i don't know 10 15 20 minutes it's not a whole lot of money um, if you're in the Cleveland, Ohio area, hey, well, I've been doing this for 33 years. I've done 18,000 inspections, so um, not retiring yet. Um, also, uh, please rate and subscribe. Um, and if you want to ask questions, you know, I do, I do read comments, so check it out. You know, maybe other people help you with your questions. 
And so this was a video on Sperry bolus delatus fungi, shotgun fungus, cannon fungus, artillery fungus. Thanks for coming on.